oldguytalks.com is all about being a better man. Join me on this kick-ass journey. Exclusive stuff for members only in the Old Guy Cave. Opt in now. This is Oris the Old Guy from www.oldguytalks.com coming at you this afternoon. And as always, remember, I want to make sure I don't get hit, uh, always remember to opt in if you haven't already done so and you're getting my five rules of life plus other cool shit on a regular basis. That's right, folks, on a regular basis. So uh, I had a chance to listen to a podcast and watch a little YouTube video and uh, a man by the name of Kyle Maynard. And uh, just when you think you can say, oh, I can't do that, I don't have that, I don't have that, da, da. Along comes someone to really bust your reality, and uh, you know there, we all get, get in those times where uh, we say, "Oh, I can't do it; it's too hard." Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't want to do it; it's too hard, it takes too much time. Whatever, blah, blah blah, whatever bullshit excuse we have for our deficiencies and lack of uh, lack of uh, I don't know determination, lack of determination to challenge them. But uh, Kyle Maynard, it's a kind of a uh, it, very interesting story. Very interesting story. He was a he was a man who was born with congenitally missing arms and legs. And usually, uh, uh, usually when people suffer from this, uh, they usually have like just maybe a little part of a limb missing or something like that. Here, but he has actually all his arms and legs missing. And how he has handled his life is a testament to uh, for us to uh, follow and to understand, because he has not let that get in the way and some of the things that you know i was watching this and i'm like going how the fuck did this happen how did he manage to do all this uh with these kind of limitations and the first thing is he didn't look at them as limitations he looked at them as challenges to overcome and uh he acknowledged where he is and then he worked at it. and some of the things are pretty damn incredible uh and high school Kyle uh, decided that he was going to take up sports and uh, there's some sports that were more amenable to than others but he kind of liked contact sports so he basically uh, became number 12 in the nation in wrestling in his weight class that's right number 12 in the nation in wrestling in his class and uh, it's kind of a kind of an amazing story because when you watch him wrestle uh, you just kind of wonder how does he do it? How did he manage to do it? How did he get that way? And one of the things that he says, uh, he says it takes a lot of hard work. There's no skipping that part where it takes the hard work to do it, to get to that. And maybe he's got the ability to outwork most people. Uh, at the same time, if he can outwork you, question is what can you can do since you have so many so many you don't have as many challenges as he does in a lot of respects but the man works real hard at, at things that he does and expands who he is as a human being which is absolutely incredible uh, and then the other thing he did is he become a MMA fighter and uh, how he never asked for any sort of accommodation all sorts of anything he just went in there and uh, he, he fought, uh, he didn't have a long career, but he did fight, he did, get into, he did uh, do some MMA fighting, and uh, it, was, it was just a remarkable story. He done some other remarkable things, including uh, climb Kilimanjaro, which uh, the, the old guy has done, and I'm gonna tell you that uh, even with, uh, with with legs and arms, that was a, that, that was a challenge. Uh, I can't imagine how you do it uh, when you just uh, really don't have any arms or legs. Uh, and you know, just watching how he functions on a day-to-day -day basis, and how he's he doesn't he doesn't feel sorry for himself, uh, and he just keeps on going. It's it's uh, actually a remarkable story, uh, heartwarming, and one that I think everyone should become familiar with because there's lots of lessons to be learned for old guys from this young men. Because as old guys, we tell ourselves stories. Oh, my muscles hurt, my joints creak, da 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 da. da. And we give ourselves all sorts of excuses rather than trying to figure out what is the workaround? What is the hack to get past that? Uh, how do we make ourselves better on a, on a daily basis? And uh, uh, Kyle's story is truly, truly inspirational. So folks, I'm gonna post a couple of links below as soon as I get home. And uh, I'm gonna post a couple of links. Uh, one to uh, the interview uh, that he had the, 
on Tim Ferriss podcast, which is actually where I heard of Kyle. And then there's also a uh, uh, a documentary uh, on him called A Fighting Chance. Uh, which I think is a very, very uh, useful story to see and uh, entertaining, inspiring, and all that good stuff, folks. All that good, 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 good stuff. So, folks, this is Oris, the old guy from www.oldguytalks.com signing off. Remember again, opt in. Don't hesitate. You'll get my political cartoons every weekday morning and other cool shit. Lots of cool shit coming down the pike from the old guy. Take care to a kick-ass life. Opt in and encourage other old guy assholes like you to opt in also.